Hey everyone, this is a great bidet seat, the Bio Bidet. Works wonderful, easy to use, not too expensive, easy to install. Um, pretty much no complaints except for one thing. Every time you sit on it and every time you plug it in, it beeps really loud. Now you would think that designers of this might recognize that not everybody wants to announce to the world that they sit on the toilet. Um, but unfortunately, there's no way to turn that thing off. So this video just shows you how to fix that problem yourself by ripping off the little speaker. Okay, so step one, take all the screws out. There's a bunch here, here. How many total? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Then you gotta pry these levers out. And I started with the small one. I got these in here with a screwdriver and just popped them down. And then I worked to the edges and popped this one down and I kind of had to use um, this little point here it was actually useful to pry it up and get them under. So once we got these things under, we've got a lip here and then we can work with this to get all of that off. The last ones are a little harder. These are deeper. So down in here, this one, this one, and here. And I had to use these tweezers. They have a longer nose and I can kind of dig it in there and push out and same here. So. You just gotta kind of work with it, but once you get them all, you can see there's a gap all the way around all the edges. So now it's enough to kind of you can see whole things coming off. So I'm just gonna pull that off carefully here. Okay, there's your culprit. Oh boy, this is hard to see. There's your culprit, that little circle looking thing. I got it right in the center of the screen. I can't hold it because I'm holding it open with my hand here. You don't want to pry this open too far, I realize, because down here you're connected. And inside there, near the light, that switch, the handle that turns it on, that's kind of stuck in there and I didn't want to disassemble all that. But I don't think I need to, because there's your chirper. That little circle black disc with the hole in it. It's like a big fat black donut. You just pull that cap off and rip that thing out and no more chirps. Everything should still work. It should still send the signal to the chirper, but it won't make any sound. So I'm gonna yank that off with my tweezers. Okay, well, I accidentally disassembled the whole thing now. Anyway, turns out this handle just goes into this slot. This thing rotates back and forth. So actually you just gotta pull that out and then it goes through a loop there. So don't mess with these cables, keep it all like that, but then it has to be wrapped around and then it goes back in. But now, we can see better. And you can plug it in to check it. You know, you plug it in, put your hand on the seat, and you'll see this little disc right there. That thing's gonna go beep beep. And that is the thing causing our troubles. By the way, use some tweezers and don't have it plugged in when you're doing this. Um, so I'm gonna get in here and usually there's a cap. This thing is just a cap. You take it off and you'll see a little disc inside. You can just pull that disc out and then put the cap back on and that disc is the thing that vibrates to make the chirp. So no disc, no chirp. All right, one more thing I realized. Uh, kind of annoying but kind of smart too. So they waterproofed the circuit board. There's like this rubber. Can't really tell but this is rubbery. Like all of that they they layered a like a silicone or something on the circuit board. So I understand why. I mean, it's a toilet seat. It makes a lot of sense. You probably get water in here and short circuit something, and then you're you're sunk. Um, but it makes it hard to get this off because this bottom of this cap actually is underneath that rubber. So you kind of have to pull that back to try to get access to the cap, and then you can pry it off. I've been trying, but man, it's a pain. So I'm gonna have to just work a little harder at it. Okay, finally got the dang thing. So that was a pain. I had to scrape a little bit of that silicone out on the edge to get it kind of loose. And then I found out my strategy here, I have it down here, was I couldn't get it on the edge, so I just kind of stuck this inside and kind of pulled sideways and yanked up. Once I got that, the thing came out. Okay, so here's your chirper. And that's the thing inside right there, this, this little thing that buzzes when it chirps. So you just gotta get that little film out, put the cap back on, and it won't buzz. The easiest way to do that is poke it from the other side. So I jam my tweezers in and you can see it's kind of, there, kind of coming up. So I'm just gonna pull that out now. Okay, you got it out. There's your problem right there. Little 
diaphragm thingy. And here we go. Just put that cap back on it right here. Plug her back in. Should be quiet. Let's, let's get this on and I'll test it. Okay, there it is. Back on, not moving around. It's on there pretty good. I'm gonna plug it in and let's see if we hear any noise. Moment of truth. And it's on, lights are on. Usually it beeps right when you plug it in. Total silence, wonderful. And that is how you fix your broken seat that won't shut up. Okay, now I flipped it back over, pushed this thing back in. I just, you know, pushed it in. It's just a piece of plastic. And you just line up the threads, stick it on. And then the rest of this is just snapping it back, right? It should all just kind of snap into place. You gotta get those, those lips uh, back on. So I snap all these around, put the screws back in, and then we'll see if it's good to go. 